many times i get hundreds of emails and all these emails are about one common thing sir i'm studying in my bachelor's i want to do a one month internship two month internship summer training summer internship dissertation all such things where to go where to apply so i think um, i will make a general video city wise i'll try to cover five or six cities and then i'll give you a permanent solution to this problem okay so watch this video till the end and let me know in the comment section what kind of questions you have now first thing i want to highlight is whatever companies i'm going to tell you if you are not approaching with the right networking skill you will never get a reply okay that's one thing you should know the second thing is you can't just you know spam all the hrs of biotech companies and expect replies okay so you should reach out to them on linkedin you know con connect with them uh, like their post you know comment and then so that they start recognizing you by name and then you ask for internship chances of getting the internship is very high okay let me start with the first one for today so i'm starting with the first city which is hyderabad so you know hyderabad is a genome valley right we call it as a genome valley of india and there are many companies there right you have dr reddy's there you have the bharat biotech there then you have biological e these are the three major mega companies where you can approach for the internship but how do you approach you don't don't just write a mail and expect replies that won't happen you reach out to people who are working there maybe scientists volunteer or ask for internship opportunity or follow them whenever they post internship opportunity you can grab that so that's one way so you have bharat biotech biological e and dr reddy's apart from that there are many other companies i'm putting the link in the description where you can keep checking you can subscribe to biotechnica you will get all these internship updates in real time but yeah so this is hyderabad now let's come to bangalore now bangalore is called as the biotech silicon valley of india the largest number of biotech companies are concentrated in bangalore and that means your chances of getting an internship is very high there are biotech companies with two people i know a biotech company with one researcher and he is a biotech company and he's running great he's doing a great job so there are such companies also okay and they're uh, really good companies and they have solid products so you have a lot of biotech startups in bangalore and uh, the top ones you can say is biocon syngene novo nordisk you have biotechnica you have uh, biozine many such companies uh, shodhaka biosciences so you can reach out to these companies and uh, if you want the complete list the link is given in the description you can check out but please 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 don't spam these companies email ids instead you have to go network with the hrs or the scientists there and then you know uh, approach them probably after maybe 2 to 3 months of networking that you want an internship opportunity so that's bangalore now let's move on to mumbai now as we know mumbai is also called the financial capital of india but mumbai also has some good companies you have i think reliance uh, life sciences is there serum biotech is of course uh, pune and mumbai you have in that region glenmark pharmaceuticals you have i think sun pharmaceutical also has uh, something there so you can reach out to these companies okay and um, so how do you reach out again you have to do networking and you can land internship opportunities here now apart from that now we will go to the national capital region that is delhi noida gaziabad gurugram now that is where you also have a lot of government internship opportunities as well as private internship opportunities uh, unpaid as well as paid as well as free of cost so all these internship opportunities are there now let me uh, tell you a special thing about delhi delhi is a highly crowded competitive market you can't just get in easily you have to first do networking get the internship letter then only move to delhi otherwise you, you, once you go there and you you know go and knock individual biotech companies you're not going to get a welcome signal okay that's something you should know so there are multiple academic institutions there in delhi uh, government institutions which keeps posting on biotechnica you can subscribe to biotechnica you'll get all the updates apart from that you have panacea panacea uh, is one company you have trans asia biomedicals and you also have cadilla healthcare all this in concentrated in the delhi uh, ncr region where you can reach out for the internships also there are many companies in the himachal pradesh area including your our um, baba ramdev's company also so you can reach out there also you have himalaya also now gujarat also you have so uh, these are the companies we can reach out to let's move on now to pune now like i said mumbai pune region is almost the same so you will have uh, you know academic institutions okay university of pune has internship opportunities you have uh, serum institute of india um, you have glenmark uh, providing you internships and a lot of other pharma companies like mcure is there so you can reach out there and do some internship in there okay now one important message before i move, move on to chennai is 
No matter how many internships you do in your career, that's less because the more you do, the more you learn, the more exposure you get. And when you'll apply for a real job, you your chances of getting selected will be higher because you will know the crux of the matter. You will know the practical aspects. You will you would have handled multiple instruments, and that is where these companies will hire you. So your your tag of fresher fresher goes away completely if you have done I think two to three internships while you're doing your bachelor's and master. So you must consider that. The next one will be Chennai, and Chennai once again is. Uh, has got a big um, it's a big hub of biotech in fact many academic institutions are there Sankar Netralia is there um, then you have uh, of course Chennai people can always come to Bangalore and uh, do internship in Biocon also you have Bharat Serum, Santa Biotech uh, all these companies are somewhere around in and around Chennai you have so you can do your internship there but again please don't spam their in, in boxes that's not how you'll get you will not get a single reply instead reach out to their HR, reach out to their scientists, network with them, uh, connect with them, like their post, comment on their post, become their fan, then send a message one fine day that, sir, I am this, 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 and I'm looking for internship opportunity. Would you be available? I, I'm ready to work for free. Please give me internship opportunity. That's how you approach them and they will give you a opportunity. Okay. So that's about your Chennai. Now let's move on to Ahmedabad. So Ahmedabad is home to a lot of biotech uh, companies, government as non as well as non-government companies. Uh, you have GBRC also there and you have Intas Pharmaceuticals, you have Torrent, Zydus Cadilla. So, and there, there are many biotech and pharma companies concentrated in and around uh, Ahmedabad. Um, in fact, I also did my internship in one of the pharma companies long back in uh, Gujarat itself. So yeah, uh, that is Ahmedabad for you. And of course, a lot of these companies are posting internship opportunities on Biotechnica, so you can always reach out and check Biotechnica's website and app. Next one which we have is Kolkata. Now, Kolkata is a growing center. There are not many companies there, but yeah, they are. there are some good companies who are giving you internship opportunities. Uh, for example, Bengal Chemicals is there. You have India Indian Immunological Slash I checked it was there. So yeah, these two companies are there. And then apart from that, there are a lot of government organizations which run a lot of projects. So you can get in there also. Okay, and uh, Indian Statistical Institute is there where you can, where you can get in uh, into a biostatistics projects. A lot of uh, opportunities are there in Kolkata and uh, uh, more in government, less in private, but yeah, you do have. But also there are some companies which uh, give you hands-on training as well as internship opportunities. So you have that also in Kolkata. Now coming to the next one, which I have for you is Tiruvananthapuram. Now, which is the capital city of Kerala. So if we look at Kerala, you have uh, multiple government organizations such as RGCV, Rajiv Gandhi Center for Biotechnology. That's one company um, organization where you can do your internship. Then you have KSIDC, Kerala State Industrial uh, Development Corporation. They also come up with a lot of biotech internships and projects with, where you can apply. And the complete list we are putting in the description. You can check that out. Now, the last one I would like to highlight is Goa. Now, Goa is also a hub of biotech industry in India. Very less people know it. And um, there are a lot of top companies. Uh, for example, you have uh, Sun Pharmaceuticals, Alchem Lab Laboratories, which where you can apply for internships. And now the problem with all these internships, which I told you is these are all offline internship internships. And it is not that the offline and online ones have lesser value. But the only problem will be you'll have to move out to that city, stay there and do the internship. And even if before you do that, you have to, you know, apply and get selected. And that's a long process. In the meanwhile, Biotechnica is conduct conducting a lot of virtual internships, okay, which you can attend right from your home without moving out. And you can do that with virtual hands on also along with getting trained by US and UK and European Union experts and of course, Indian experts as well. And so that is where Biotechnica comes up with this approach where we bring the best of the experts and the best of the technologies, merge them together and this marriage of technologies leads to amazing results. So you can always do internships at Biotechnica also. However, if you want to do offline internships, I'm putting the link in the description where you can subscribe to Biotechnica's uh, YouTube channel as well as Biotechnica's website where we keep sending you email newsletter almost on a daily basis. The moment there is an internship opportunity, we will inform you. But you have to know that Biotechnica has more than 40 lakh people as subscribers. That means the moment we post, 
gone. That is where you have to be really alert. You have to keep checking Biotechnica website, be a part of our Telegram app or the WhatsApp uh, group. And that is where you can uh, grow along with Biotechnica. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm right here to help you out. Any questions or comments, drop me a mail at shaker at biotechnica.org or you know the drill. You can put that down in the comment section and I will answer them. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Namaskar.